ladies and gentlemen, honor society from a land far, far away, California. <laughs> Arguing with the fans, letting them know how they feel. Now, apparently, after their matches last night, when Chris, when Chris Wilde, the incredible one, defeated Sir Samurai and Eliza Hammer when she defeated Julie Winters, we now have a mixed tag match here at the afternoon. Julie Winters, ladies and gentlemen, one of the first, if not one of the greatest female professional wrestlers here in Alaskan history. Crowd getting into it, they know who's coming. out with a surprise his saddle is waiting come jump on it he is genuine coming out here riding that pony getting the crowd into it the crowd is fired up for julie winters and the incredible one chris wilde calvin i am so excited for this match this is going to be a lot of fun welcome back brother we've got a a veteran tag team in the honor side society right now though it looks like eliza's not wanting to get into the ring Apparently, this is the, she, she's, she's sitting in the crowd. She's trying to figure out what's going on. She's, she does not care to get in the ring to get this match started. She's done. She's already started to cast her check. Well, Calvin, to be fair, uh, Chris and Julie both have weapons currently. Chris has got that uh, foot. Is that a Fortnite pony? I believe so. I believe so. My son will tell me straight up as soon as I get home to let me know what type of pony that is <laughs> if it's from Fortnite. And Julie's just got a bat. I, I think she made it herself. This is not a hardcore match, ladies and gentlemen. So I guess, I mean, smart move by Eliza. Uh, staying outside. And the Samurai trying to let the ref know this is not a hardcore match. You need to get these weapons under control. Oh, that poncho is so, so, so shiny. So beautiful. So good. As many times as I've been in the ring with this man and as hard as he hits, I do have to give my respect to him. Eliza now getting back out of the ring. She's stolen his poncho. Ah, the poncho that we were just mentioning. I mean, it didn't look good. I mean, I would want to wear it. I would wear it as well. Eliza now maybe intending to wrestle with this poncho on. Might limit the amount of uh, mobility she has uh, with a with a glittering sequence poncho. And there's Chris turning the tables. Them cakes, baby. Them cakes. I'm trying to shift. He, he is. See if Eliza wants those cakes. <laughs> he is serving it up. The one thing you always count on in a Chris Wilde match. A lot of cake and some loud chops. Here we go. Here we go. He's trying to see. Hey, is this the joy you're looking for right here? <laughs> yes, sir. But like you're saying, Calvin, this is Mind Games on the by the Honor Society. You saw how excited, how energized Chris Oh! oh such disrespect. Apparently they are not storm troopers. She did not miss with that throw. No, no, she did not, sir. Not at all. But you saw how excited Julie and Chris were. Uh, so energized. Got the crowd going. The the Honor Society slowed this down and then taken the crowd out of being behind Julie and Chris. Taking that energy away from them. That is absolutely correct. I mean, these two are one of the, some of the biggest fan favorites here at 907 Pro Wrestling. Oh! oh forearm to his face. Jesus. Nope. So Samurai's done. Not not having it. Now, last night at the Willowa Social, Eliza, 
he actually got the victory mm. over Julie Winton. So let's see what's going to happen here. So Samurai taking a breather with the fans. Didn't like getting punched in the face. Who does? I guarantee they've not seen the likes of either the Crown Jewel of the North or the Pink Pride of Anchorage. Oh! Takes out the leg. Julie showing off why she calls herself the first and greatest female wrestler in Alaska. Yo, they circling it up. Oh, gorgeous arm drag. Now you know Julie has been away from the ring and since she came back. She has shown that she has not lost a step, especially in that ladder match oh. last month. Oh my god, if you have not seen it, make sure you go back into our library on the YouTube channel you're currently watching and check out that Arisen 3 7 person ladder match. Joy Winners, I will say, has become more violent, more brutal in her offense since returning to the squared, squared circle. Well, it makes you wonder because we already know that one of the hardest hitters in 9 Alaska, or 907 in Alaska is. Chris Wild, so it makes you wonder if they have been training together as well. I mean, they have matching gear. Absolutely, absolutely. Man, gear looks spectacular. <laughs> Though I do just assume Chris Wild has matching gear for anybody at any moment. Yeah, they're going to get the crowd in. Oh. They're the mind games. There's one, and we got one crowd member dancing. Maybe stop. Hmm. Chris Wild all in her face right now. Here they go. Call her double tie up. Ooh. Pushing Chris back into the corner. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Side, very honorable right there. The samurai. Man is nothing but um, is not a man unless he lives by a code. And Sir Samurai has a lot of honor. Here we go. Chris responds. Is he going to fall for the mind games? Okay. All right. All right. Another another callable tie up. Again, same spot. This, this, this Chris Wilde finds himself in. But looks like oh, another clean break from Sir Samurai. But remember, like we said, they are from a galaxy far, far away. Let's see what side they are on. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Oh my bad. Dark side tactics. He's, 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 there they go, there they go. Now side headlock by Sir Samurai Crystal. Oh, showing off that strength. Yeah, that power, that mm. power. You know, if you watch our Facebook and Instagram, oh, little, little, little cut the corners there by Sir Samurai holding on the hair of Chris Wild. But if you watch our Facebook and Instagram, especially the stories, you can see Chris Wild training with Tyler Payne and Oren West. It's definitely been showing off here in the in the most recent months. Oh, oh grabbing the hair. Everybody's grabbing hair now. Julie trying to get this broken up. Nope. Going in, we got a four-way hair pull. What is going on here, 907? A lot of times you have to pay for that. Pay, that costs extra, there, Calvin. Referee Josh, get in there. Yeah, what get get on? get in the middle of that four-way, Josh. There you go, buddy. Yeah, break that up. Really, just make it end. That's right. He's wagging the finger, just like my mom used to do to me as a child. It's true. I mean, sometimes you gotta lay down the law. Mm -hmm. He is the authority in that ring. Oh. oh. Smart move. Tandem offense from the experienced tag team. Let's see what they have here. First Irish whips. Oh. oh. Did they stop in the name of love? Yeah, I think they did. Just in time to do a double snap here. And oh. oh, double butt attack. Man. The honor society, not really sure what hit him other than four butt cheats. Hey. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So back over to the corner. There they go. There. That's what you want to do as a tag team. And me, one half of the WrestlePro Alaska Tag Team Champions. One of the first things you want to do in any tag team match is you want to cut off that side of the line. Absolutely. And that, you hear that, 
that chop just echoing through the halls of the Arctic Rec Center. Passing the crowd for one more. Oh, double chop. Ah. Calvin, you've been on the um, end of those types of chops from Chris Wilde. What is that like? Those, top, those chops will stop your heart. They are, he, he is incredibly strong. Do not get it twisted. I can, I mean, you can just hear, oh, uh oh, oh, Eliza might be feeling one of these too. Oh, Chris Wilde though, stopping himself. He's incredible and he's also respectful. Hmm. But calling Julian, oh, smart move by Wilde, keep the honest society. Uh, locked down. Oh! oh! Big chop by the crown jewel. That's what they want another one? No! Double. Crowd is loving it right now with this team of Joy Winners and Chris Wilde. Oh! oh! And third one for good measure to Sir Samurai. I'm not sure if that's part of his Bushido code. <laughs> I don't know if there's much uh, samurai training that can prepare you ooh, to get chopped uh, the way Joey Winters chops somebody. There's light in his chest up. Mm. Joey Winters, here we go. Super! Oh. Shoots the half. Two. Two. Samurai barely kicks out. Liza needs to get in this match now. She, Sam Samurai's been taking a ton of punishment from this, uh, this team that, you know, I didn't know it's something that I wanted, but it turns out something I needed. There you go. Oh, more chops. Uh, Chris Wilde picking up Samurai. Oh, the strength of Wilde to pick him up. Drop in him on that knee. Ooh. Oh, tandem offense here. Oh, oh, what a combo from Wilde and Winters. Chris going for the One, for the pot. Two. Ah, oh, broken up. Lies of hammer. Lies of barely, barely makes the save. Stays in the ring. And now trying to annoy Chris Wilde. Oh, oh, here we go. Like we said, those mind games. That's some veteran tactics right there. Because she better turn around, but watch your back. Like I said, she's annoying him, but gives time for Sir Samurai to oh. recover and do something like that. These are tactics that I can tell you I like. <laughs> I would say these uh, look very top tier. Hey, 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 that's what you want to do. You want to be top. As I mean, it's how you get the wins. Oh, Eliza with that reverse chokehold just wrenching back on the neck and jaw of Chris Wilde as Sir Samurai distracts Ref Josh. The crowd is not liking that one bit. Mm -mm, not at all. Because the Samurai is a veteran. There you go, bring him back in the ring. What's he got lined up for him? What's he got lined up for the incredible one? You can see now Sir Samurai Eliza Hammer slowing down the pace. It was you know, breakneck speed early on with Chris and Julie, but they are really just slowing this down, going at the pace they want to go. Eliza, full head of steam. Oh! One, two, oh! Cross body, almost had him. You probably didn't know that it was a two count. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Eliza now just dragging Chris back to the corner. Cutting the ring in half. Excellent tag team tactics right there. Smart, absolutely smart. They trained well. Bring it back in the samurai. Let's see what they got going on here now. Great, yeah, great again. Great tag team work. See Eliza holding on to Chris as Samurai gets into the ring. Now looking for a double team. Woo! Huge double back elbow. You can tell on the apron, the winners is not liking that. Trying to get the, trying to get Chris fired back up into this. Mm -hmm. She's got it. Yep, yeah, she's got to get some type of inspiration over to Chris. Got to get this crowd back behind them because Sir Samurai and Eliza Hammer, they have are just taking it to Chris Wild. Yes, oh. I think that man tired himself out with those, that many forearms. Excellent job there by referee Josh. Noticing that Chris Wild's shoulder was not down, did not start the count. Great point. You know, we talked about how incredible our refs are. Eagle eyes, all three, all three of the ones we got active right now. Best referees in the state. Absolutely, sir. Now another double team move looking like from Honor Society. Chris hops over. Eliza. Oh, big spine buster. Dropping the leg. Wow. And Eliza transitions Chris over. Looks like she may be going for a single Boston Crab. Here we go. Here we oh. Go. Wrench is trying to trying to trying to put trying to get her man back over there, giving the tag. Chris trying to pull himself over, 
as he pulls himself over, that puts even more pressure, more wrench on that lower back. That's where most of the power Chris has from both his strikes and his kicks. And they're trying to take that away from him. It's smart moves by the Honor Society. So I was trying to get behind, trying to get behind Chris, but apparently that did not work. Mm -mm. You know, as a Wrestle Pro Alaska Tag Team Champion, one half with uh, Juggernaut uh, himself, Kid Money. Money. Uh, what? How, when you are analyzing your opponent, do you pick out a particular body part or uh, a way, a strategy to really pinpoint uh, um, a person or a body part? Well, you always want to have a strategy when you go into any match, but particularly for a tag team match, you want to make sure that, that both you and your partner single out that same body part. And apparently what they have going on here is they're working on not only the play, but they are also going after the one pipe play in the first one. Mm. Oh, Chris. Oh, oh. that big boot. Can he capitalize on it? Disrespect to Eliza Hammer. Chris now picking up Samurai. Oh, I felt this. Oh! Power of Chris Wilde. Huge Uranagi by Chris Wilde. That was incredibly impressive. But he, I think that might have just taken the last bits of energy he had left there, Calvin. He needs to make that tag. He needs to make that tag. The crowd is behind him. The crowd's trying to get him to make it. I say, spin around, Chris. Get over to Julie. You got to get her into this match. Samurai crawling over to Eliza. Who will get there first? Samurai is there. Now Julie. Tags are in. Here we go. Oh! Forearms by Julie Winter right into the face of Eliza Hammer. Julie now backing up, getting some speed. Jumping. Right, on the one knee. Jumping forearm. Taking the leg out. Nice. Smart moves. Oh. There you go. I oh, can hear that last one. Julie. Crashes into Eliza Hammer. Half one, two. Oh, oh Samurai's right there, though. Now it's starting to break down. Oh, double axe handle the back of Sir Samurai. The legal people are now oh, back in the ring. Outside. Ooh. Julie kicks her in the stomach. Looking for maybe eat defeat. Oh, oh eat defeat. there it is. We've seen her win. It? One, two. There it is. There are your winners right there, ladies and gentlemen. Get them, Donnie. Great win. First time out by Chris Wilde and Julie Winters. Yes, yes, it was. Yes, it was. And as a man who was in the inaugural mixed tag match here at 907 for wrestling, I got to say that this second one here was actually very, very, very entertaining. You gotta say, you know, it's always amazing to have guests um, come in, and it's great to be blessed by the Honor Society. Uh, we hope that we'll see them back in the 907 ring very soon. But that was absolutely impressive. Now, Champ, I know you gotta go get ready for uh, Ben's got a match coming up here in a sec. That's right, top tier, top tier. Ben's coming up, so the man's gotta get out of here. So, you know what? It's been real, it's been low. Peace out.